Good day, everyone. Welcome to Super Joe webinar. I'm Sarah Liu, the Sales and Marketing Director at Super Joe. Today, we will introduce how to utilize mobile GIS apps with smart devices in the field to effectively complete multiple tasks. We will perform key features of SuperSurf, our mobile GI software for Android and iOS, and combine with different case scenarios to help your understanding. A real demonstration will be given at the end of each session. So welcome to manipulate your super serve with us together. Our speaker today is Danny Wang, the technical support engineer at SuperJo. Danny has a master's degree in forestry and GIS from the best university in Taiwan. He joined us since 2013 to support the technical services and professional training for southern part of our country. Today's webinar will last around 15 minutes and end up with a 10 minutes question and answer time. During the presentation, welcome to throw your questions by typing. We'll answer together at the end. And we got some questions here. If they can get a copy or can record the webinar, the answer is yes. We will share the, the video copy with all the users today and welcome to record it at your convenience. Now, let's welcome Danny for a presentation. Good day, everyone. My name is Danny Wong, and I'm the Tech Support Engineer from SuperJill Technical Support and Training Center. Today, we're going to talk about the implement efficient data capture and update with SuperG's mobile apps. In today's webinar, we're going to talk about surveying with Android and iOS-powered SuperServe and to conduct an efficient field operation using offline editing tools. And we're going to talk about rapid data query and measurement on the screen, and to use the precise special guiding tools for your destinations. And finally, we're going to talk about to do a real-time data synchronization with SuperG Super Server. First, we're going to talk about the mobile JS application. What is the mobile JS ap application? It is a lightweight GIS system on your mobile device and specifically designed for the field work, which you're going to take the, uh, your mobile device to the field to do the survey and take it back to put the data on the desktop environment or on the server. In SuperGIS product line, we have a uh, lot of product line. We have the server, we have the desktop, and also we have the mobile GIS. And also we provide uh, advanced developer GIS for our uh, advanced client. And today we're going to talk about the mobile GIS and it is, going, it is, uh, it is called SuperServe with the Android and iOS system. SuperServe, it is the mobile GIS application perfect for field data collection, which is useful for the offline and online data editing and support all global coordinate system and it is fully comp compatible with other SuperG's product line. It is going to work well in the um, uh, Android and iOS powered device, which is most of the uh, mobile uh, uh, device you can find in the market. And to sur survey with the SuperServe. Using the SuperServe, you can efficiently collect point, line, polygon data and support both offline and online editing. It can also display the map data with global coordinate system settings, and you can also switch the base map between map cache file, online map, and web map service. It also allows you to create and manage waypoint for advanced special guiding. On-screen query and measurement with GIS tool is also available. In today's webinar, we're going to demonstrate three case study of the field survey, which is going to be Number one is the biking route side survey, which we're going to demonstrate the offline poly line survey. And the second part, we're going to talk about the public facility management, which we're going to demonstrate an offline point survey. And the final part, we're going to talk about the agriculture field survey, which we're going to demonstrate the online multi-polygon survey. Now let's move on to the case one. The case study one, we're going to talk about biking route side survey with SuperServe. The scenario is that we're going to conduct a biting route side survey for the weekend. We're, I'm going to take some colleagues to the uh, Riverbank Park. And so I'm going to find out some of the available routes that uh, have to be tested first. So I'm going to go to a uh, 
the park with my bike and my mobile device and using the SuperServe to conduct a very fast uh, field survey, which is going to include, uh, I'm going to demonstrate a survey project using the online base map. And also I'm going to create a polygon layer with the customized attribute. And also I'm going to collect the data using the GPS device and automatically. And finally, I'm going to uh, recording the track log of my uh, biking route. So the first part, we're going to set, uh, do a setting of the project. We're going to create a project environment before the survey. It is very critical to uh, create a project because uh, you have due to the coordinate system you're going to use. And uh, you can decide uh, the special reference systems. And you can also decide that you want to use the online map tool that uh, we're going to demonstrate today. Also, it allowed you to name your uh, own survey project and to select the background map style uh, in the online map tool project, which uh, we provide four kinds of the different open street map. Uh, you can use it uh, as a ba uh, map, base map. And also, we're going to talk about to create a new polygon layer, uh, which it is very critical that you have to notice about the, uh, the code you're going to use, which due to the language you're using. And um, all the layer file will be stored in the project folder and will be automatically saved. So if you want to take the device back to your office, you want to take all the layer file out, uh, you have to uh, find the project, project layer you have it created. And we're also going to show you how to uh, customize the attribute table and to manage, and you can also uh, add or delete some of the field that you don't need it. And to collect the data, we're going to use the GPS uh, device automatically that I'm riding along the biking route. So all the, uh, the polyline data will be collected via the GPS. And finally, we're going to talk about to record your track log. And the track log pointing function uh, uh, will automatically uh, collect the data uh, as a point layer, which is uh, in the camel format, and a line layer as a shapefile format uh, in the track uh, folder in the project. And it is also it is allow you to uh, to import or to export the, the the track log you're going to use. So now I'm going to uh, head to the simulator. Now this is our simulator because we're uh, now we're in the indoor environment. So I'm going to use this Android virtual device. So this is our super serve. And now the first step, I'm going to create a whole new project. So you can tap the menu button on your device and select new project. Since I'm now out in the park and I don't have any uh, base map ready, so I'm going to use the online map tool project here and tap OK. Now you have to enter the project name, which I'm going to enter it as K01. And in the map type here, if you tap on it, you can find out there are four kinds of the different map type you can use, which now I'm going to use the OpenStreetMap map standard. Tap OK. And tap OK again. Now your all new project has been created. And you will find out that uh, the OpenStreetMap map base map has, uh, it's going to be the, the, the base map of the project. And now I'm going to feed in the fake uh, GPS signal since we're in the indoor environment. Okay, so the fake signal has been fed in. So you can see the GPS signal has been shown in the SuperServe uh, upper banner. And if you tap on the GPS button here, so the map will automatically pan to the center. Now I'm going to zoom in a bit since here we're in Taiwan. And you have to notice that um, you ha your mobile device has, has to be connected to the internet or the base map will not be shown. So if you want to use the open street, open, uh, open street map as your base map, you have to make sure that the 3G network or the Wi-Fi network has to be connected to your uh, mobile device. So you can see here uh, we're in uh, Taipei City of Taiwan. I'm going to zoom in a bit to the Riverbank uh, Park, which is called the Meiji Riverbank Park. And it has a lot of the biking route. So I'm going to um, zoom in a bit. If you're using the mobile device, like um, cell phone or a tablet computer, you can uh, zoom in using your two finger. 
Okay, so now the resolution is quite good for our survey. Right, now before we're going to conduct the survey, we have to create a new line layer, which you can tap on the survey button here. And select create layer, tap on, and you have to enter the name and the a layer, file name and the layer name, which is going to be a line. I'm going to enter the line. And the code page here, you have to be very careful due to the language you're using. So now I'm going to use the UTF-8 and select the layer type, uh, which I'm going to select the line layer. And the file format in SuperService, we, serve, we um, support two kinds of the format, which is shape file or the geo file, which is going to be much faster in the Super Cheese uh, product line and tab OK. So now your layer has been created. Before um, before starting the, uh, the survey, you can uh, start up to customize your table here. I'm going to demonstrate. Tab OK. Now we can uh, see there are a lot of the field has been uh, created by default. And some of them I don't need. If you don't need uh, some of the field, you can long tap on the attribute and select delete up or down. I'm going to select delete. Since I don't need the photo here, so I'm going to delete it again. Okay, so I have ID, name, date, time, and length. Tab OK. Now you can start your survey. If you need to uh, add, add in some of the other attributes, you can tap on the green button and you can add the other attribute you want. So now I'm going to start up uh, the fake G, uh, GPS signal as I ride along the biking route. And to start recording the uh, feature automatically, you can tap on this button, which uh, will start up the GPS, and it will ask you to confirm whether you want to collect the data with the GPS. Tap OK. So now it has been start. Now you can see that um, while I was moving uh, along the riverside, you can see I'm riding my bike along the riverside, which is a good view. And I think uh, I think this uh, this this biking route is very good. You can see the I'm moving the GPS signal here. I'm moving along the riverside. You can find out that the, the point has been collected. And since I haven't changed any setting, of, it is at the default. So it will collect the point every 30 seconds. And also, you can change the, the, the point per, uh, per, per second to collect in the settings, in the editing setting. So you can see the, here, the line has been collected. Okay, now if you finish, you can turn off the GPS signal here. Turn it off and press OK. Now a line has been created and it will ultimately pop out a window that allows you to enter the attribute, which here I'm going to press it as a zero one. And the lanes you collect the, la uh, the line layer, uh, the, the line feature, the lanes is uh, around 500 and tap OK. Now your line has been created. If you want to change the setting of the, uh, of the editing tool, you can tap on this button, setting here. And you can change uh, whether you want to enter the attribute just after creating the feature. And you can also change the interval of the continuous collect, collecting GPS position, which is here. Now it is 30 seconds. And you can change it, whatever you want. And after you change it, you have to head back and save all the changes. Now, since I'm going to uh, continue ride along the river, I'm going to uh, I'm going to record my uh, track log. So I can first I can I can uh, exit the editing tool and tap OK here, and tap on the track button below the screen, and select the record the record tool. You can see a little uh, red button here. If you press this button, it will automatically start to record your track log which I'm going to uh, move along using the fake signal here. So now since I'm moving, you can see uh, on the screen I'm moving and a uh, blue line has been record. And the blue line is my track log, which I'm going to continue to ride along. And here I'm going to talk about how to do a layer setting. 
tap on the layer button, enter the layer part, at the setting part, sorry. And you can set up any feature, the, the symbology of the any feature. Tap on the right hand the button on the right hand side. So you can change the symbology of this layer, which you can select this button and change the style and change the color if I want the red one. And also you can change the size, which I can select it as a 10 and tab OK. And tab OK again. Now on the screen you can see that uh, the symbology of the layer file has been changed into the style I want. Now I'm uh, finally at the, at the final part and I want to stop the track lock. You can tap on this stop first, pause and stop recording. You can also load in or out the, all the uh, track lock if you want. You can see that it is today and if you want to load it, you can press it here. Now let's head back to the slide. In this part, we talk about um, how to conduct a field uh, survey project with an online base map. And if you're out, uh, outside on the field and you don't ha have any base map ready, you can use the online base map. Um, we also conduct a polyline data collecting uh, with the GPS device and to, conti to uh, co continually collect the data automatically. And we also show that how to uh, record your track log and how to management.